Okay, yet another video about my Ajax milling machine. Now I've been asking a few questions online about this machine. Uh, specifically when I use a larger cutter, I think this is a 5 or 6 inch cutter, uh, taking only very light cuts, uh, not the full width of the cutter but light cuts, I've uh, been getting uh, some vibration. If I try to go for a full width cut, uh, forget it, there's too much vibration. Not in the machine itself, I think the machine's uh, pretty sturdy, albeit it's only small. Um, but on the slack side of the belt, I say slack, I mean it's, the belt's actually quite, the belt is quite tight. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so I've had vibration on that side of the belt. Okay, so not the tension side, but the, the other side. Um, yeah, so um, the, um, the belt's been oscillating. Uh, now, I don't know the exact frequency, but I would say that it seems pretty much like it's oscillating uh, in time with the um, fairly coarse uh, nature of the teeth of the cutter that I was trying. Um, so, um, the I wouldn't say there's exactly a consensus online, but uh, I think the general feedback that I was getting was don't try such a large cutter on this size machine. So that was one thing which I was getting feedback from a number of people. So fine, yeah, I, I think that's probably a valid point. You'll see I've got a much, much, much smaller cutter on here, which I'll, I'll try tomorrow. Uh, haven't tr I'm not going to try it this evening. Uh, it's getting a little bit late in the evening. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to try that. I'll try a much smaller cutter. Obviously, that's also going to be um, the effective uh, feed rate uh, meters a, a minute. It's going to be a lot, 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 lot lower. Uh, with that than it is with that. Um, other things people were talking about maybe changing the V-belts, traditional V-belts for uh, poly V-belts. Um, I'm reluctant to do so at present. Uh, I won't say that I wouldn't do that in the future but um, yeah I feel that as as the um, V-pullies are in, uh, in good condition um, I'm tempted uh, not to rework them uh, and I'd rather not make any uh, new pulleys myself just at the moment. Another thing that was mentioned was possibly changing what is uh, a single phase motor down there uh, for three phase. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm quite OK with that. I actually, I think that I'll probably be doing that at some stage anyway. Um, I did in a pre uh, like several videos ago uh, mention about the possibility of sticking um, a DC motor on this, uh, which I've got. Um, sorry, not a DC motor. It was a, was it an AC DC? Uh, yeah, it was a DC motor. Yeah, a DC motor, um, 220 volt DC motor. I think it was like one and a half horsepower or something like that. And I've got another DC motor as well, which could also go on here. But you know, I quite favour the idea of putting a three phase motor on here. I've got a spare uh, VFD, uh, so that won't be a problem. I don't have a Sidwell three phase motor at the moment, but I can easily get one. So that might make it a little bit smoother. Um, however, I really don't think, you know, when I look at this, uh, there's no belt vibration uh, down on the motor belt. Um, all the vibration is there. I'm pretty sure it's emanating from uh, using this cutter. Uh, there was also a little bit of uh, slop in the bed, which I've tightened up. Um, there's a quick return. Uh, oh, there was a quick return lever on there. Oh, no, there wasn't a lever, but it was a fac the facility to, to use one. Um, the shaft wasn't in, uh, shaft there wasn't in the best of condition. So I was actually scrapping an old single phase motor. Uh, I lopped the shaft off from the single phase motor, turned it down into the lathe. So this is a temporary shaft in here, much, much tighter, much better now. You'll see, uh, it doesn't need to be so, but it's actually a key shaft because this came off an old, probably a Brooks motor or something like that. But so that's, that's tightened this up. So there's no play, uh, in that wheel at all. Uh, which is definitely better, um, still not perfect. Um, oh, another thing which was a suggestion, which I think is a good point, um, the suggestion was to move this in uh, closer to the workpiece and to keep the cutter as, as close uh, to the body as possible as well to, uh, to minimise any flexing and things. So, yeah, I mean, I haven't used a horizontal milling machine before. Uh, I wasn't planning to buy a horizontal milling machine. I wanted a mill. Um, I wanted really a vertical mill, but this one came up and it was um, cheap. Um, and some bits that I got with it, I've since sold. So the actual uh, machine, as you see it, okay, I've just uh, I repainted the base. 
Uh, but the actual machine uh, has effectively cost me about £60 plus the slider motor mount. Um, the, uh, the switch box there is just something that's been repurposed. That was just junk. Um, the, uh, there's a, uh, a magnetic thermal overload switch there, which I think is rated for about 15 amps, which is way more than I need. Uh, so I've put a, uh, th I think it's a 5 amp uh, thermal uh, resettable cut out there as well. So... Uh, but all of that can be changed. That's no problem at all. If I go to single, uh, sorry, three phase, uh, I'm quite happy just to pull that off and, and stick some new stuff on there. Um, other things I need, I definitely definitely need a uh, chip tray. This is just a bit of scrap that I had that's just clamped down at the moment. So that's going to be going, as you can see, a bit of a mess. Um, yeah, so what else? Um, I need a uh, a light on it as well, I think. Uh, a coolant pump would be nice as well. Um, I'd quite like to have improved handles at the moment. There's a removable handle which is lurking somewhere. Let me just grab it. Yeah, one of these. So, uh, yeah, it's all right. It's fine. Um, yeah, you just put it on there. But, you know, it'd be quite nice to have something a little bit better. Um, oh, I just noticed I put these little uh, caps on here. The oilers just because I felt that they were picking up a little bit of swarf in there, so I think that's better. Um, I've made myself up quite a few uh T nuts. Let's just see if I can grab one somewhere, yeah, like uh, like this. Th these are actually milled up, not not the black stuff, uh, the T nuts themselves. These were milled uh, on this very mill, um, yeah, they came up just fine. Sorry, can't really focus, but yeah, they, they came up quite nicely. Uh, the finish is uh, more than acceptable. I'm really happy with it. Um, yeah, th these cutters are big ones. If I finally decide that I'm not going to be uh, using them much, I'd still keep them. They're quite good for like uh, this side-facing cutter. So if I've got something like this, I just needed something quickly square. So I just square that off, just bolted that down, took a facing cut on the side. So uh, yeah, OK, it doesn't look perfect. I, I know that. Could have gone a little bit slower, but that was that was fine for the quick job I wanted to do. Um, I had a cross slide that had been absolutely butchered by someone in the past. So I just wanted to take to clean it up a little bit. Um, they didn't leave a lot of material, so I didn't go right down to there. But... Uh, I don't know whether you can see. It's it's. I, I feel it's it's. You know, it's the finishes. Uh, finish actually feels good. It almost looks like a sort of flaked uh, effect now, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, that was done. Uh, that was done on the. Um, I think it's a six-inch cutter. Anyway, that one. Okay. So and I've done similar jobs. I mean, this this cutter actually, I feel, albeit it does add vibration to the belt. Um, it seems to actually do a nice cut. I have considered. Uh, adding uh, some sort of idler pulley there, which will allow me to change tension of the belt because at the moment they're fixed. Uh, the jack shaft there is is uh, totally fixed. You can't uh, move it at all. So there's no option for changing belt tension, which to me seems wrong. And also, if I were to put an idler pulley in there, I'd be halving the distance, which I feel might um, might reduce vibration as well. And then again, it might not. Okay, I'm going to um, call it a day there because I think my uh, phone's about to run out of battery. Oh, last very, very quickly, uh, pulley alignment had several people ask me, or some people at least online asked me about pulley alignment. I feel that they are in alignment, I think, to uh, change, say, to go to the middle or leftmost um, pulley sheave there would actually take it out of alignment. So uh, I'd say that's pretty good alignment. OK, OK, that's it for the video then. Thanks for watching.